Hello students, so let's try to solve one very nice problem and this uh, problem came into your net December 2023 और जब बच्चे इस question को देखे तो वो most of the student tried this question but they never reached to the they didn't reach up to the uh, mainly correct conclusion and this is a really nice problem और ये question वही बच्चे कर सकते हैं जो कि classical mechanics को बहुत ही inherently समझ पा रहा है so let's try to do this problem. What is this thing? So there is a one Lagrangian is given, and in this Lagrangian, this is very classic Lagrangian because potential energy part is linear in generalized coordinates. So this is 2x plus 3y plus z. And when you will go for the kinetic energy part, there is coupling term is there that is what y dot z dot, but kinetic energy is half m x dot square plus y dot z dot plus z dot square. And they have asked that which one of the following is a constant of motion or which can be treated as a conserved momentum. So first, jo humara, jaisi hum conservation ke baare mein jate hai, first humara direction jata hai ki hum cyclic coordinate ke baare mein baat kare. So jaisi hum cyclic coordinate dekhte hai, then neither your x is cyclic coordinate, neither y, neither z is cyclic coordinate. So obviously cyclic coordinate ke through aap ja bhi nahi sakte ho, kyunki aapke options hi bilkul hi different hai. So this is not going to work. Then second, our thought is that whenever we want to go for the conservation law, then we should go for a Poiseuille bracket method. So Poiseuille bracket method में जाने के लिए first हमें क्या करना होगा? हमें इस Lagrangian को Hamiltonian में change करना होगा. और Hamiltonian में change करके हर एक को check करना पड़ेगा कि किसकी first order time derivative Poiseuille bracket के साथ से sorry जिसकी first order time derivative that means वो हैमिल्टोनियन किसके साथ कम्यूट करता है बट सो इट विल वेरी लेंदी सो ऑब्जेक्टिव में इस तरह से लेंदी कैलकुलेशन करना इट्स नॉट अ फेवरेबल थिंग सो देन हाउ यू विल अप्रोच दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम तो इस तरह के प्रॉब्लम को आपको अप्रोच करने के लिए यू हैव टू जस्ट गो फॉर स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड सो व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल जस्ट राइट द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन so first we will write equation of motion for the x, we will write equation of motion to the y and we will write equation of motion to the z and then we will try to analyze which one is the correct one. So let's go for equation of motion for the x. So this will be d upon dt del l upon del x dot minus del l upon del x must be equal to 0. So from there we have m x double dot plus 2 alpha must be equal to 0 and second is all about y so when we will go for t upon dt del l upon del y dot minus del l upon del y must be equal to 0 so we have to be very careful that here y dot and z dot is there so once we will go for the partial derivative with y dot then z dot will remain so what will happen that value is m z double dot by 2 and this will be plus 3 alpha must be equal to 0. So this is for this particular y and then we will go for z. Then this will be d upon dt del l upon del z dot minus del l upon del z is equal to 0. Then what we have? We have this thing m z double dot due to this and here y double dot will be there. So here is m y double dot by 2 will survive and what we have? We have plus alpha must be equal to 0. And now look at from here what we can do. Actually constant of motion ka matlab hai ki d upon dt of that particular thing must be equal to 0. So can we write this particular thing? So what we I am going to do? This is my equation number A. This is my equation number B. So what we will do? I will just go for A plus B minus, sorry. This is equation number C I am just writing. This is equation number C. This is equation number B. So what I am going to do? I am just going to use a trick and what will be that trick and ye trick kahan se aa raha hai yahan 2 alpha hai yahan alpha yahan 3 alpha in dono ko agar main add kar dun aur subtract karun to alpha ka role khatam ho jayega and here you will get the answer so what we have a 
plus C minus B must be equal to zero. And जब आप ये करने जा रहे हो तो क्या आ रहा है A plus C. So A plus C is equal to you have M x double dot and what will happen a plus c is 3 alpha so 3 alpha 3 alpha will cancel out and what you have you have m y double dot by 2 and here this z double dot minus this particular m z double dot so this will be m z double dot by 2 must be equal to 0 and what i can write i can write this m d upon dt that value is x dot plus y dot by 2 plus z dot by 2 and that value must be equal to 0 and from there we can easily say that m 2 time x dot plus y dot plus z dot must be equal to constant and here we can identify one particular thing that is going to be constant is this particular value so option number two is the correct answer so students same type ke question just ek ya do saal pahle bhi aaya the aur aap dekhoge ki wahan par ye pucha gaya tha ki kaun sa particular coordinate time ke sath vary nahi karta hai and that is the extension of that question into this direction so students ab wo samay ja chuka hai jahan par aap formula yaad karke aur koi bhi कुछ भी पढ़कर जा सकते हो एग्जाम देने क्वेश्चन इज रियली अप टू डेट एडवांस लेवल प्रॉब्लम सो यू नीड टू स्किल योर सेल्फ एंड यू नीड टू टू गो फॉर द गुड बुक्स यू अप्रोच द गुड टीचर सच दैट यू कैन डू दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन टू योर एग्जाम सो जस्ट ट्राई टू डू विथ योर अगर कोई कमी है तो आप मुझे बता सकते हो थैंक यू